Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out at two in the morning, low tide at four, and we're going out for any sort of seafood we can find. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can get some cool hopefully we can get some cool creatures. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo! It's a 0.4 tide today. So it's gonna go down a seriously long way. Fingers crossed, there's some cool creatures get caught out. We're here nice and early tonight because I want to run down with the tide and see if we can get any fish. But we'll just see what's around tonight. Oh, nice. Lovely big prawns. There's not many of them, but there's a few around. If I can get enough of these tonight, I'll happily have a few. Such a peaceful night. We've had no wind for the last sort of two, three days now. And it's been beautiful, perfect foraging weather. As you can see, everything's crystal clear, so I can spot all the creatures really easy. There's actually quite a few big prawns in here. Look at that lot. There's actually quite a few in there. I'm going to spend some time doing this. As you can see, there's eyes everywhere. Just in this little spot. So I'm going to get these out of the net. I'm going to go try and get some more. Here we go, guys. Check some of these out. Beautiful sized prawns. And I've got quite a few in here. That's what we want to see. Look at those. Oh, I love doing this. So relaxing going around chasing some prawns. And you get a delicious little meal out of it as well. I can't believe how many's here. Usually, they don't usually come around till about November time is when I usually start seeing the bigger ones, but there's loads here tonight. That's great to see. Definitely a welcome surprise tonight, finding all these prawns. I'm gonna, oh, drop one. I'm definitely gonna keep collecting them. See how much we can get by the end of the night. We're gonna move off to another spot for a bit. We'll come back here after and see if we can get some more. Check these brown crabs out, guys. Wedged himself in there a bit. There we go. Nice sized brown crab there. And there's another one in there. So that's a, probably a breeding pair. That's the, that's the male, not a keeper. So we're gonna leave him there with that and they can do their business. I heard a scallop round here somewhere. I was just walking off and I heard it flapping. But finding it is another story. I'm hoping I can hear it flap again. There's definitely a scallop out here. I've 100% heard it. I've found it guys. Look at that, you heard it clap. And that was the giveaway for this scallop. There you go. That's definitely a keeper. Nice size that. Not a monster. It's a keeper scallop and the first one of the night. So hopefully we can get a few more. That took some, <laughs> that took some doing to find that. That was a nightmare. Oh, happy we got a scallop though. Nice. And this is why I love the big tides. Another scallop down. Is that gonna, oh no, I thought that was a keeper then. That's another keeper, easy that. Nice size scallop. Two down. <laughs> We're on a roll tonight. The good thing about these massive tides, it goes down so far, it unearths a lot. But now I'm on a scallop mission. Come on, you beast. I've just found another one, guys. Look at the color of that one. There you go. Another one down. Lovely sized scallop. These are not monsters by any means, but the legal size limit is 100 millimeters. And that there is, is definitely legal. 100%. What a beautiful night. We've got three scallops down, and we've still got an hour and 20 minutes of the tide going down yet. Fingers crossed we can load up. <laughs> We're finding little pools at the moment. And they've got some nice prawns in. Like, they're not monsters. But they're big enough for me to want to try them, that's for sure. 
I'm more than happy to have these. I've seen some absolute clonkers, but every time I took a swipe, they went underneath the seaweed. We're starting to build up a little bag there. We've got some prawns and free scallops. We're heading to a surf beach now, guys. We've got about half an hour to low water, so I'm going to quickly run over these rocks, see what we can find in the meantime, but we'll jump over there and hopefully we can find a flat eel or any other sort of fish. Found all sorts around here before, so you never really know. Oh, oh where's he gone? There we go. We got him. Little Larry there. Not very big at all. It's actually really soft, this one. I'm gonna plop him back. But lovely to see nonetheless. And we're just creeping our way to the surf beach at the moment. I'm actually looking for prawns, but I'll take a lobster if we can find one. <laughs> Check that beauty out. Lovely sized lady crab there. Or velvet swimming crab, they're commonly known as. Over here, we more call them lady crabs. They got a bit of an attitude. <laughs> but we're nearly at the eelgrass beds here now. So I'm gonna start wading in the water. And fingers crossed, we can find some cool creatures. I've just missed about 20 bass. <laughs> They're all leaving the bay. And I didn't land any. I didn't even have a chance to put the camera on either. There was a lot of them out there. Looks like it's got something in its head there. Looks like a parasite or something, so we'll let that go. Try and catch some more big ones. Big old feisty lady crab. Check this out. This is a 15 spine stickleback. A really green one at that. Really interesting creatures around tonight. Get that back in the water. That can go. Ja. Very feisty little crab. After those bass that I've seen, I have seen literally nothing since. It's been completely quiet around here. So I'm gonna head back the way we came after the scallops. I'm gonna go see if we can find some more because that tide's a lot lower now. And fingers crossed we can find a few. I don't think I've ever seen it this low before. This bed where I am now, I've never even been close to on a big tide. I think it's because we've got a mix of a giant tide, biggest tide of the year, and a high pressure. It, that tide's just gone. It's amazing. I'm, I'm walking around grounds that I've, I'll never be able to usually walk across. Whoa, big Congo, look at that. What an absolute beast. Look at that for an evil beast. What I'm trying to do is just get under his gill and then I can slowly pull him out. Because there's a good chance that there's probably a lobster under here. A lot of the time if there's a, a big conga like this in a hole, there'll be a lobster, so just ease him out nicely. Very decent sized eel. And check this out guys, there is his, that's his tail, and look at the size of these squat lobsters. Absolute monsters, look at the size of those. It looks cool round here. Look at that squat lobster, that is very cool. We got a giant conga tail just there. And look at the colors on that. This is why I love the giant tides. The species are endless. Like look at the blues and different colors on that, that crustacean. That is insane. Spiny squat lobster. They've got the relative, the, uh, the olive squat lobster or common squat lobster. But that there, this is the biggest of the species. They don't grow a huge amount bigger than that, but there we go, look at this. <laughs> that is a big old eel right there. Here he comes, look guys. Just tickling him out. That is a beauty of a conga. Look at the size of that beauty. Wow. 
That's a 25 plus pound eel all day long. It's like a battle tank. And off it goes though. Straight back into the depths. Oh, what a cool creature. So we didn't see a lobster. I thought I had a lobster on the hook, but we didn't. Always good to check though. Oh no, little buddy. Look at him, he's stranded there. Just shows, just shows how fast that tide comes out. And he's got a little parasite on him as well. This is a little cork wing wrasse. So what I'm gonna do is get this parasite off him. Just like that. And we're gonna go return it back into the water. There you go, little buddy. If he doesn't get a drink, I'm afraid he will perish in these big tides. We got another one. No! I will save you, little buddy. This one's a little bit more lifeless than the other one. Poor little fish. There we go. Hopefully he gets his breath back. It's amazing how much wildlife actually just gets cut off by the tide round here. So, as I've said countless times, it goes out so quick. The lobsters, the crab, the fish, they don't get a chance to leave, you know? Well, this is a super cool find. I've just found a really small mast crab. Maybe a little male there. Really cool. They're usually found on the really sandy beaches, not so much on the reef like this. And this right here is a long leg spider crab. Cool little finds. I don't often find these, so when I do, it's always a welcome pleasure. Very circular on the top. I am so glad I came out tonight. That tide's gone lower than I've ever seen it before. There's places uncovered I've, I could only dream about getting to tonight. Hence the reason we're finding the giant conger eels and stuff like that. You only find them on the really, really big tides. It'd be nice to get a couple more scallops. Oh yeah. Check that one out, guys. She's growing roots. <laughs> That's a lot bigger than the other ones. That's a lovely scallop, that. Number four of the day. I'm over the moon with that. That's a proper nice big one, that. Look at the size of that. That's a proper scallop. Nice. Hopefully we can get a few more. We're right at the low water edge now. That tide's gonna start coming up. So we've gotta be a bit quick. As fast as that tide went out, it can soon come back up that quick as well. I could hear this one flapping. There it is, you beauty. <laughs> We're on a roll tonight. That's a beauty. Oh, I'm so happy I come out tonight. It's turned into a great forage. You've got about five scallops now. Hopefully we can find a few more. The last big prawn of the night. That tide's absolutely whizzing up now, so I'm gonna knock it on the head there. I don't wanna overstay my welcome. So we're gonna, we're gonna go up to the top now. We're gonna head home and cook up some prawns, some scallops. Those are my two biggest scallops. And we've got three, all about the same size about the four inch mark just in legal size it's not bad going that and all of my prawns are gone except for two i've got a peeler crab there as well all of my prawns are falling out of my foraging bag so i forgot about that hole again <laughs> oh well i think we've got two prawns i did have about 40. oh well at least we've got five scallops out of it i'm gonna put these in the fridge overnight with some seaweed over like this that will keep them perfectly alive and then we'll make something nice out of these tomorrow. What a fun forage this was. Giant congers, big old scallops and an enjoyable night at four in the morning. We are back in the kitchen guys from an epic forage. We've got a few scallops there. Some nice big chunky bits of meat as well. I've got some leftover lobster so what I'm going to do today. So I've got a couple of skewers. We're going to make some lobster and scallop wrapped in bacon skewers. I'm gonna glaze it with some honey to give it that sweetness. We'll see how this turns out. So I'm not gonna do a lot with these scallops. I've got some sea salt and some black pepper. 
I'm going to season the seafood before I wrap it in bacon. Get that mixed up. Nice and simple. I'll do the same with the lobster. Get it well seasoned. So then we get that delicious flavour all the way through. Some nice big nuggets of lobster on there. Look at that. Beauty. We've got little bits left there. So we're making one more skewer. There you go. Be good if we had some vegetables as well. So what we're gonna do is wrap that in bacon. Just gonna pull it through like so. And start wrapping the bacon round the whole lot. I'm trying to squish it as I'm doing it. There we go. You beauty. Check that out. So get that in the pan. We'll get the other one made up. We got one little skewer and one monster. Let's get this in the oven. And I'm gonna give it until this goes nice and golden brown. And then we'll add some honey to glaze over the top. Delicious. Good thing about scallops, when you find them, you get some really good bait out of it as well. These are scallop frills. Smother those bad boys in honey. Oh yeah, it's gonna give it a nice sweetness. It's going to make it really sticky as well. If I do say so myself, guys, they look about done. Oh yeah. They smell absolutely amazing. So there you go guys, there's the finished product. Delicious juicy cocktail sticks, full of seafood and bacon. You can't go wrong with that. Oh yeah. Ooh, can't beat fresh scallops, that's for sure. Check that out. That's gonna be hot. That honey just gives it a little bit of sweetness. Makes it very sticky as well. That's in a world of its own, that is. It doesn't really get a lot better than that. Simplicity at its finest. A few little bits of herbs, and then just a little bit of foraged food. Leftover lobsters. Whoa. That's probably one of the tastiest things I've made in a long time. The stuff I make is tasty, but that, it's so juicy. And got the flavor of all the different seafoods in there with a bit of smoky bacon, oh. It's one of those cooks where I don't even wanna talk that much, I just wanna eat it. <laughs> mm. Interesting trip though. I did not expect to find prawns on that trip, but it uh, seems like they've come in for sure. There's some nice ones around as well. So maybe next tides I, I might get the prawn pots out and uh, see if we can catch them in the prawn pots. That'd be quite interesting. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. I could eat these every day of the week, easily. That was well needed.
the lobster everything just falls apart oh that's amazing I'm definitely doing that again with the honey that definitely honey really does go well with uh, some seafoods that I've noticed like scallops lobsters almonds they do really go well with it brings a little bit of sweetness so stay tuned for the next episode guys I'm gonna destroy this in about three seconds I wish I found more scallops, but hey ho. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. There's always new products going up all the time. So make sure you check that out. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. There's going to be plenty more to come. This was delicious. Smash fishing, baby. Woo!